Hi everyone, welcome back to another weekly vlog. I've checked myself into West Hotel by Hilton in Sydney because I have a very glamorous black tie work event tonight. Um, so I'm going to get all glammed up for this event. Needless to say, it has been a very long time since I've done anything like this. So I am excited. First thing first, I'm going to go grab myself a coffee, get some sunshine, wake myself up because I'm getting into that like afternoon slump of the day and then I have a hair appointment at 4.30 I've never gotten a blowout before so I'm doing one today and we'll, we'll see how that goes I'm feeling very blah right now because I was up till very late last night with some work um, so I'm very excited to kind of take the afternoon off My hair is done and I am so incredibly happy with it. I feel like I really don't like my hair 90% of the time. It's always flat, lifeless, dull and yeah I feel I'm so happy with this. It's super curly which I feel like most people like beach waves but when you have very flat hair all you want is like big ringlet curls. Um, so I kind of asked her to go as curly as my hair could go and I love it. We didn't end up going for the blowout um, just because she said that it wouldn't last as long and it wouldn't give me the curls and like the tightness of the curls that I wanted so we ended up just doing a dry style which fine by me I really like it and it was a bit cheaper the place I went is called Blown Lux it's at Barangaroo and it is my go-to place for anything hair or event related all the girls there I feel like are really nice really chill and yeah it's like a really pretty venue as well so I'm gonna show you my dress this is the dress that I'm wearing tonight it's from Iro or is it Eero um, but it's basically a simple black dress and it's got like a nice split on the leg. This dress is a little bit outside of my comfort zone but I do really love it. I feel like the cut on the leg is so flattering. So time to put it on and then do my makeup. Or does it go the other way around? I don't know. I've popped on the dress and I'm gonna wear these styled sandals which are super super comfortable. Okay, I'm just gonna sit here and put them on. Probably should go. Um, bye guys, I'll try and get like a few clips of the night with my iPhone and I will probably see you, I want to say tomorrow because I feel like I'll be very tired later on tonight. So bye. We just got room service breakfast at West. This this is our omelette with bacon, tomato, capsicum. And then we have our egg benedict. This one is mine. Happy Monday everyone! I have been seriously unproductive today um, so I've actually decided to go out and run some of the errands that I have to do for this week instead of just being kind of unproductive at home. I'm gonna pop by um, and go see my tailor. I purchased two items secondhand on the Real Real a while ago and they both kind of fit 
slightly imperfectly so i definitely need to go get those two items tailored i do love it like they're such gorgeous pieces i'll show you in a second um but needs tailoring i'm also going to catch up on instagram content and shoot maybe one or two outfits um just so i have something to post for the next few days i've been focusing a little bit more on youtube this last week so a little bit behind on instagram so we're going to do some catch up today so these are the two pieces that I want to go get tailored. They are both secondhand items from The Real Real. I have decided to actually show you what it looks like on. Brace yourself, it doesn't look good. Um, so these are the Stella McCartney pants. The waistband definitely needs to be taken up a bit. This probably needs to be basically taken in one whole size. The trousers are also too long, which... Is problematic because it's got this zipper that goes all the way down usually you could just hem the bottom and it would be an easy fix but um, I think what I'm going to do is basically to take this up and then just roll the bottom so I'm just kind of holding it at the back and you can see now what it looks like I think that this hip area also needs to be taken in a bit otherwise it is quite wide and not that flattering so I think the entire backside needs to be taken in and then it kind of fits the leg a lot better and I'm all for altering because I feel like even if you just buy something from the shops and it fits the right size sometimes there are little things that we overlook that doesn't look perfect so tailoring is great for that this looks incredibly ridiculous but with this jacket hopefully you can see because it's quite like an oversized shape the sleeves are just ever so slightly long because it's already got a slightly dropped shoulder, wider sleeves I would just prefer if the sleeves were perfect length This is the most shocking outfit right now and I obviously won't be wearing these two pieces together, ever On to my actual outfit today We're just gonna go with this black cami top from Cezanne and then a pair of Uniqlo linen trousers and I'm reaching for this Uniqlo knit. This is actually one of the men's knits from the Uniqlo focus camera from the Uniqlo U collection. So this is the finished look. The brown knit, the linen trousers, my cape bag, and we've got really minimal jewelry on, just a couple of Majuri hoops, and that's it. It has been a few days and it is now Friday and today is a bit of a scorcher so I'm spending most of it indoors other than going out this afternoon to shoot because once again I am out of content Monday was one of those days where shooting wasn't really a huge success like I wasn't really in love with what I was wearing wasn't feeling my best the locations weren't you know, ideal. So yeah, it was a little bit of a fail day, um, but that's okay because we are going to shoot a really lovely dress, I think, um, later on. But exciting news, I had my Black Friday order come in from my Teresa. So gorgeous yellow box. I love to repurpose these boxes and like keep them for other little like things. So I guess this video is kind of like a Chloe bag unboxing as well. And I mentioned my Black Friday video that I had two things on my wish list. The Doen Pom Knit, as well as this little Chloe Daryl bag. This has like an equestrian inspired design. You've got that classic hobo shape to it, which I feel like is very Chloe. Which is why even though this bag does have a lot of more statement details, it is still like a classic hobo style. Um, it's got like white stitching, which I think looks quite nice with the green. It's really not going to be the most spacious of bags. Like if you look at the shape, it is quite like flat. So it's an essentials only bag. I can fit my vlogging camera on my phone, my wallet, you know, lipstick, makeup, but you're not gonna fit like a water bottle or like a sweater or anything like that into this bag. I'm not a hobo bag person. I've never liked them. But when I saw this bag, the fact that it was small, top handle, had like a little bit more structure to it, I kind of just fell in love with the style. It also came with this little pouch which comes with the longer strap and immediately one thing that I can say that I don't love about it but I understand that it's part of the design is that to change from the short handle to the long handle you do have to like 
to up all these buckles and if anyone has done these buckles up you'll know that it can be a little bit of the pain especially at the beginning when the bag is a little bit stiff it's a small thing because to be honest most of the time i don't switch between the handles like daily it's usually like if i go on holiday i might put on the long strap but from for day-to-day -day wear i'll probably just use it top handle so price wise even though you know it's a designer bag it is an investment bag i did get 40 percent off and i'm quite happy with it so for today's outfit i'm wearing the leon tie knit and some shorts and even a simple outfit like this, I feel like looks really nice with this green color. I'm quite a big top handle bag person, like I do like to hold something actually. So I feel like this is a really cute little hobo bag. If you watched my last video, you also know that I purchased this bag because my mom also really likes it. So it's a bag we're basically going to um, wear together. We, I mean, we share most things, but some of my things I feel like it's not her style and she doesn't really like but this one she does so it's great because we can both get the wear from it so I'm going to be putting in some of my things today and taking this bag out shooting some content with it, it is gorgeous and I also made a non-Black Friday order this is from a small Australian brand so a local brand called Wild Horses and they're based in Perth they're a really small brand that I discovered through Jasmine Dowling who is one of my favourite like Instagram online people so, I thought I would give this dress a try. It comes in really nice compostable packaging, which most Australian brands I feel like do, which is great. Really cute card. How cute is this packaging inside? That is adorable. Oh my. Hopefully you can see a little bit better here, but it's a broidery dress, it's white, it's a really nice midi length. I might just step back. So you guys can see. What a terrible way to show you guys, but I feel like this dress would be so incredibly pretty. Um, I don't want to put it on now because I'm about to have lunch and do some moving of furniture. But when I go for a shoot later, I'm going to show you what it looks like and it is gorgeous. All right, this is very exciting. She's all set up. I love that it's just got this one very spacious drawer. I'm about to put all my skincare and makeup in here. And then I'm also going to pop by Muji later. So if I'm missing any drawers, sorry, if I'm missing any trays, I will be able to pick it up later today. I have just popped on the wild horse dress and she is a beauty. I love her so much. I will show you like a proper cutaway because I'm shooting this outfit today. Um, but just like a quick, quick first impressions video. Even though it's got the broidery and it's obviously got some open spots, I just have on nude underwear and no shorts and I feel like I feel comfortable to wear it out like this. I don't feel like you can see inside too much, um, which is great. Honestly, this dress was so beautiful, I was definitely willing to compromise if I needed to wear like nude shorts inside. But ideally, being in a climate that is quite hot, I just prefer to wear like knickers um, and then not have it be sheer. So it's perfect. It's got slightly thicker straps, so it just so covers my bra strap, which is great. Um, I think it looks a bit messy when you can see too many straps here. So that's another perk. It's got an elastic band here, so if your like, strap comes off the shoulder, it's really not a problem um, because you've got, the, you've got this holding it up. It is just like the perfect white summer dress. I'm also styling this white dress with my Chloe bag. And I feel like these two pieces actually go perfectly together. If you're based in Australia and you're looking to support a local brand, I can recommend Wild Horse. I feel like this dress is lovely. I am going to head out soon. But before I do so, I just kind of want to check um, whether I need any more of the Muji 
storage cubes for my drawers. I have been kind of living out of boxes for the last few weeks so I'm really excited to just get this whole thing done. Obviously you'll see in my vlogs that it's been like a long time coming um, doing up this room and the other one. So I'm kind of over it and I just want to get everything complete. So these ones are a bit too high. These are all from my old drawer so some of them might not work. This is like a good height. This will definitely be... Oh, this actually fits. Okay, so it seems like this would be the best option if I could get maybe two or three more of these. Um, it would help organize this drawer a little bit better. Let's head off. I'll show you in the next clip what I shoot in the city, but otherwise I will speak to you tomorrow. I don't like to film in the evening because the lighting is pretty bad. Um, and the video quality just goes and it really bothers me when I'm editing, which is why you don't ever see me after the sun goes down. Yeah. That was really weird. Hello everyone, it is now Saturday morning and I'm about to head out for lunch but before I do so, I want to quickly show you the two pieces I picked up from the tailor yesterday um, and they're looking a lot better. This is my favourite tailor in Sydney. She's located at Walleye Creek if you guys know the area and it's like a really, um, it's an interesting shop. It's like a hairdresser at the front and it's like a tailor at the back but the lady there is like really really good and it's just also super friendly. So if you're looking for a good tailor in Sydney, with pretty good prices as well. You should check her out. I'll put her details down below. But um, we got the waist taken in, so this is now perfect. Before it was definitely like a couple of centimeters or like an inch or two too big. So the waist is perfect now. And we didn't end up changing the length, of course, because there is this zip on the, on the trouser all the way down the leg. So it's looking a lot better now. It is very voluminous around this hip and thigh area. But I think that's more the style of the trouser rather than the fit on me. So when it comes to styling these trousers, I think I will always wear it with something more dainty on top. Right now I have this silk cami, but otherwise I might pair it with like a bodysuit or a very fitted tight sweater. Just to kind of compensate for the fact that these trousers are very very wide. So if I was wearing this today, which I'm not because it's a little bit too hot for this outfit, um, this is how I would style it. Because the sleeves on this had like a balloon shape, she thought it would look a bit awkward if we just took it up from the, from the cuff. It's also got this like interesting detail that I think we both wanted to keep. So what she actually did was just take it up from the seam and then she also took it in a little bit at the, at the like waist of the jacket. So the body of it fits a little bit better as well. She commented that it's quite a vintage design that was around when she was younger. But I do really like it. I think it's really cool and I love it even more now that she's made it fit a bit better. With both of these two pieces, I actually don't notice any, any imperfections on it. It's pretty much like new. The tag on the real reel was that it was in excellent condition and they are. I can barely tell that it's not new. I swear if you just put some tags on it, um, I, would, I would just assume it's new. Um, so yeah, I really love shopping with The Real Real, not sponsored obviously, um, but I am a big fan. So I'm going to head out to lunch now and I'll show you my proper outfit a little bit later. It is a little bit later in the day, I've just gotten home and I ended up wearing this sparkly t-shirt today from Balzac and then I have a slip dress thrown over the top. I had another chance to use this bag today and tomorrow, after I've used it one more time, I'm going to give you guys a little bit of a first impressions of how I'm getting along with it so far. I have just made myself a little coffee and I'm just going to watch a little bit of Netflix and chill for a bit um, before spending some time with my boyfriend this afternoon. We're going to go to the hardware store, that's where we've been going for like most of our dates lately. Um, just kind of doing some DIY for him and then some for me. So plans now is basically to sit down, chill and enjoy my cup of coffee. So I think I'm going to catch up with you guys tomorrow and do my kind of first impressions of that Chloe Daryl bag. Hello everyone, it is Sunday now and I'm just about to put on this Summer Friday jet lag face mask. I like to do a face mask Sunday mornings and I just pop it on, it takes like two seconds before 
heading down for like a kind of breakfast, what whatnot. So I'm just going to have this face mask on and pop downstairs for some breakfast. And before I put on any moisturizers, I actually want to use this Hydro Gel Eye Mask from Mecca. Packaging is like reflective, but I got this in like a birthday gift pack, I think, back in September. And I just keep on forgetting to use it, so I want to finish it up today. Um, just like little gel eye masks. Oh, that is so nice. It's so cooling. I don't do a lot of like eye care in general. I mean, I sometimes use an eye cream, but that's about it. These feel really, really nice, and I'm just going to leave it on my eyes for about 15-20 minutes as the packaging instructs. I've spent today doing um, just cleaning, life admin. I just brought back my washing that I did earlier today. So I'm going to put that back into my wardrobe. And I've also been trying to sell some of our older furniture around the house. Um, which I'll show you in a moment. So I'm going to put these back first before we do anything else. I'll pop in a little cutaway um, right now of the chairs that I'm looking to sell on Facebook Marketplace. They'll probably be gone today, um, but they're just these chairs we've had in the house for about 20 years and we actually got them secondhand as well. So it's been around for a long time and we just no longer really have the space for it in our house. Um, so saying goodbye to those, they seem to be very popular and I feel like they're a really beautiful chair. Just not my taste, unfortunately. I am just about to run out the door. I'm going to go for a walk. I haven't quite decided where. So maybe the beach or the park. And also maybe just shoot some content again. I've been shooting most of my content that I post like on the day. Um, which makes it feel a bit more spontaneous, I, which I like. But also means that I don't shoot as often and I don't post as often. Um, so I'm trying to like find a balance between the two. Before I head out very quickly, I wanted to talk a little bit about this bag, some first impressions, and to answer some of the questions I received on Instagram as well. I got a question asking whether this bag is heavy, and I would say it's not heavy. It's probably not the lightest bag, but it's definitely not heavy. Um, it's only got this little bit of hardware here, and the plate doesn't feel like it weighs very much. It's got some little hardware bits around with like the zip and the buckles but minimal hardware which means that it's not a heavy bag it has like a grain lever but i mean i wouldn't say the lever is very heavy either nor is that braiding so weight wise it's very comfortable to use in terms of how much it fits though it doesn't fit the most um, obviously with this kind of a flat shaped bag you can't put that much in it without distorting the shape so that's definitely something to keep in mind Something else is that if you unzip this bag, which you have the option of doing, um, you can basically unzip the entire thing so that the zips aren't connected, if that makes sense. So if you look at it like this, it opens really wide because I've unzipped the whole entire thing. And I hope that makes sense. Um, but you can really open up the bag and get where you want to very easily. But it also does distort the shape of it a little bit. And I'm not the biggest fan of the way this looks, so I always prefer to have the zip um, together like that you can obviously you can bring it to the end but if you go a little bit too far the whole thing will open when you do it up the shape of it holds a lot nicer than when you have it fully open otherwise um, I just have to say the design of this bag is absolutely stunning I've tried it on with a ton of my like most worn outfits and it kind of just matches with all of them to be honest today's outfit was kind of like based around this bag which is why i have some like green trousers on but obviously with like any kind of neutral this would work because it's got that grains lever it's very durable to scratches you're not going to get a lot of scratches and bags like this generally wear quite well in that it doesn't look um scratched up or old 
after some time as i said in the unboxing the straps can be a bit gimmicky so most of the time i'm just gonna wear it top handle which is definitely my preferred way of wearing this bag when i do travel i'll probably put on the longer strap but for the most part i think it's a top handle kind of a bag so i think i'm gonna head out now and do a little bit of a wander around this sunday afternoon So we just finished shooting this outfit I'm wearing with the Cezanne camisole and some a piece apart trousers as well as the bag. So we're just gonna go and have a look at IKEA now, um, which is really close by. So this is absolutely the reason I come to IKEA so often. I've just gotten back home and I think I'm gonna sign off the vlog key for this week. I'm very excited about my next vlog actually because it includes a little bit of a giveaway and it's my first ever giveaway, so yeah, I'm excited about that video. I'll see you guys very soon in a fashion video and thank you so much for watching.